It's a great day to play. How are you all doing? I'm doing okay, I guess. But I have a problem. You and I are going to talk about it. So, I've been going down. I started doing uh, these reaction videos um, because I'm really, really getting back into my music side. And I've been listening to a lot of heavy stuff recently. Uh, stuff that really impacts me. Stuff uh, impacting my childhood and some trauma that I've gone through. And so... I was talking to some of the fans and, and one of the people said, hey, by the way, I got a really great song. If you've never heard of this group because of the conversation that we had, I never heard of them. And they said, you should do this song, Butter by BTS. Came out recently. Uh, I, if you're looking for something that's like just going to be a happy song to lighten your mood, this is it. And I was like, okay, I'm on board. And so I did the song. I thought that I did a nice job with the song. I had a lot of fun with the song. I literally danced with the song. But man, sometimes I forget that stan culture exists. So before we get into the Dynamite video that I'm going to do and continue today, I want to have a dialogue with the stands, and I want to have a separate dialogue with the fans. Here's the issue, okay? In the world right now, in general, people only hear what they want to hear. I had people, because I said that they, there was a comment that we got taken out of context. I said, man, they all look so young. Seriously, they all look the same. They all look so young. People only heard out of that. They all look the same. Oh, it's just some white dude being prejudiced. Like, no, my point was, I was just making a first observation of a group that I've never seen or heard about, that they all look extremely young. Especially because most of you told me that they're between 23 and 28. I do read the comments, by the way. And it was just an observation. I had fun with the song. I paid them tons of homage. The fact that I related and said that they were a lot like, I thought, like Michael Jackson and Bruno Mars. That's really cool. I get they're the biggest band in the world. I didn't know that at the time. For the people that attacked me. Yeah, I live under a rock. Okay. I was, I was trying to support my family. Okay. What I want to say to the stands out there is I want you guys to all consider something. You have a brand new viewer that comes in, that finds the music, that clearly enjoyed the music. How much good does it do you to attack that person? Now, I have really, really thick skin, so you're not going to deter me. And if anything, you're going to motivate the shit out of me. But if you guys do that to every single person that's like, has an audience of their own. By the way, the majority of my audience isn't used to and hasn't ever been exposed to BTS, which means if I am then playing and talking about BTS, I'm exposing an artist that you truly love and adore. I'm exposing them to all new people. Isn't that the goal at the end of the day to get the people that you're fans of more watchers, more listeners? But when you go out there and you just say ignorant stuff, it doesn't make people want to do that. So to the fans on the other side who did comment and say, thank you so much for giving this an opportunity. You should check out these other songs. You should do this. If you're looking to actually feel something, here are a bunch of songs that you could do that would make you feel something. I didn't want to feel something yesterday. What I mean by feel, I don't mean that it made me dance. It made me like it was a good song. What I meant by that was, again, I, I was listening to a lot of music regarding trauma and it was triggering things in me and it was making me sad. And so therefore, the palate cleanser was I needed something that made me happy, which what most people said, that was what the song was. It was literally just supposed to be a summer bop. And it was, it was a good song. So stands, I ask you, calm down. And I know that you're probably gonna jump back in and flame for this. Fans, thank you so much for being appreciative and helping me along because I do enjoy learning about artists. And for all of you out there that were like, oh, he just is prejudiced. He doesn't like this kind of music. You have no idea. By calling them, like, people got offended because I was like, oh man, they're a, they're a boy band. They're just a boy band. What's wrong with boy bands? Dude, Backstreet Boys and NSYNC were the, sh the shit in my day. Every dude wanted to be them. Every girl wanted them. And it wasn't just kids that listened to them, okay? Like, there are all these predefined notions that people have in their head. And until we start opening up and getting to learn each other a little bit and stop being so defensive and let that guard down, we're never going to be able to move forward as humans, as people. 
All right? So that's what I ask you. That's what I do on this channel. I try to let that guard down. I try to open up to things that I might not know or might not understand. And I'm not too big to say that there are times where I might say something wrong, but I do honest reactions and honest opinions and have real dialogues. I'm not just going to be the person nodding along who's like, oh, dude, that was good or that was bad. If that's what you want, what are you really doing? So if you're still here with me and you like the way that sounds, you like actually maybe learning something, dissecting things a little bit more, getting to actually know things through a journey as opposed to just hearing what parrots are saying, this is the place for you. You should hit that like and subscribe button. And if you're still here, let's actually now enjoy Dynamite. Never heard this one either. This is brand new. I'm sure I'm going to get flame. I'm going to say something wrong. Somebody's going to come out of the woodwork. Be a jerk of Saurus Rex. That's all right. I'm here for it. I got the thick skin. Let's go. What do we got? Big hits. Entertainment. Okay, I made this comment in the last video of, of something that I really like. Their use of colors is really cool. Um, like, this, they started out, these are kind of all like these pastel lighter hues, and I really like that. And I don't think it was weird of me to say, like, in American culture, right, we actually, it seems like we strive to look older. Like, from a, a young age, we, like, ever since we're, like, 12 years old, we want to look like we're older. We want to look like adults. We want to be adults. And it's an interesting thing for me for people to want to look a lot younger, right? And that's a look that they're going for here. I didn't say there's anything wrong with that, but it's the same thing here. It's, it's amazing to me of how young, I would never have guessed that they're as old as they were by the way that they look. And if we're having a conversation and they're trying to have conversations, somebody left a comment about like toxic masculinity and how that's going into places. And so they speak out against that. Isn't it also kind of like some toxicity of like coming at somebody so hard? My point is, is that these are inferences that I'm pulling. These are things that stick out in my head. I want to talk about them. Let's talk about them. Anyway, let's check out more of these colors. I feel like we're going to get some pastels here. Is that milk sitting out all night? Oh, dude, you milk mustache. I love, they have a lot of, I, I said this yesterday too, they have a lot of Michael Jackson influence in, in the vo vocals and in the dance. In their, in their dance moves, there is a lot there. I love this wall though. This is like reminiscent of like, just like an old like 90s bedroom, man. I love that. I love that. Also, this is going to be another bop. Sing song when I'm walking home, jump up to the top of the brown. Ding dong, call me on my phone. I love, I love the, that, that big boom. And then the change, the change of the next artist coming in. That's just cool. Is this, um, again, maybe somebody can answer this question for me. I've noticed that a lot of their clothes are super, super retro. And I know that's even coming out again here in the United States where we're sort of getting back kind of more to the, like the, the 80s, 90s, like scrunchies are coming back. Is that a really big thing right now overseas? Like, is that is that like a really big thing, some of the older clothes coming back? Because I noticed that, or is that just their style and their trend? Somebody wants to answer that. Let's go. <laughs> Dude! Yes! Oh, the kick and then the sweat to the side. One of my favorite things to do in videos is if I say something and then like it comes true and slaps me in the face right afterwards. That shit excites the shit out of me. Look at that, Michael J. Like seriously, so cool, so cool. This is hot so far.
That's really cool. I like that. I like the the speechify sound. Um, also, I so I gotta still get through all the comments. Some people left some really really long comments, kind of giving me a lot of the history. And thank you for that. Uh, I wanted to go. I I I didn't skip past it, but I saw it and then I marked it. That like somebody literally gave me like the background of each individual person. I know it sounds like there's four there's four or five singers and then there's three rappers i think somebody said but they all dance i, I gotta go read through and, and find out their individual backgrounds and somebody also sent me a video that i'll probably do a reaction to of it was a kind of like a behind the scenes thing showing like all their musical talents and stuff it's crazy to me of how many uh people are telling me like how many instruments and stuff they play that's really cool the by the way to the person that said i probably don't play i do actually play those They got some good, they got really good dance moves, man. Did they like, how do you get seven dudes together that all do it? Would you, do you just go to like a music school or something like that? And then you all meet each other. And then like, you know what I mean? It's one thing to get like a couple people together, but like seven guys together that can all have like very similar skills like that. That's super cool. Also, again, the retro calls are just like one of the things that I consistently notice. I don't know why I keep skipping. <laughs> it is always a lot of fun. Just like going yesterday. This is a song. Is this shit's going to get stuck in my head. The butter song has been stuck in my head since yesterday, too. Like, this is a song that's going to be stuck in my head. I know that these were supposedly their only two English songs. are just supposed to be fun songs. I do want to get in. Um, somebody gave me a good list, and a couple of you had like seconded it. So there's some songs that crossed over amongst most of those lists. We'll go back, and I'll probably put some closed captioning on at some point here in the near future to listen to um, to listen to some of like the more feel songs because it sounds like they have a they have a lot to say. Man, this reminds me of music videos from my childhood. Like I am, I am the age where I came home and watched MTV after school. Like I'm that age, and like this reminds me. This reminds me of that. Like these, like the clothes that they're wearing and everything are just bringing back the style of the video. Outside of it being in much better quality than like watching the things go across the screen and having the fuzzies, uh, you know, ah, uh, so cool. That's his voice is so high. Holy crap. That's impressive. His voice is so high. I thought that was a chick at first. Not not looking at it. I thought that the voice was a chick at first and just being voiced over. So to me, bring the fire, set the night and light. Shining through the city with the little fucking soul. So light it up like dynamite. Oh shit, we got a key change. Love the pastel colors and then like the 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 colors coming up in the background. That's cool. Look at that. Man, that's really cool. The record store, everything. Um, where was this filmed? I'm curious. Wait, are they like California or something like that? I wonder where this is filmed. Although a lot of this could probably just be CG.
All right, very cool. Very cool. All right. Uh, man, another fun song. I'm glad because I did a couple of other videos again this morning that were a little bit, a little bit heavier. Um, yeah, man, I, 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 I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying the music. It, it, it is a departure from what I've been doing lately in terms of my reaction videos. But um, it was funny because I have actually been since I really started getting back into music. When I go to the gym in the morning, I have been listening to like the top 100, like hip hop or top 100 pop songs to try to like, you know, really catch up on on current bands and current genres and seriously i did the reaction video yesterday now i've been listening to that top 100 pops hit song and i only get through like the first 20 or something like that i had not yet heard butter or bts this morning i went to the gym and guess what like the fourth or fifth song that played was butter by bts it, it was just like it's just funny it's like it's like when you you're 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 on your phone and you're or you're talking about something like with your significant other or your friend or something you're like oh yeah I'd really like to buy a stapler and then all of a sudden like out of nowhere Amazon and like Facebook are sending you fucking ads about staplers even though you, like you're like how are they listening to me it was like that it was like I did this video and then all of a sudden it was like boom here it is so you can listen to it this morning so cool though a lot a lot of fun a lot of fun um I'm really enjoying it and. You know, I don't I don't apologize for my videos, guys. I don't apologize for people taking things out of context. I am here to enjoy the journey, and I hope that as many of you as possible want to enjoy this journey with me. Um, and I'm going to keep going with it. I'm going to keep going. I love this. And if you guys have any more suggestions for me or more info, I do read the comments. Uh, I can't answer all the comments. I do three or four of these videos a day. I get, I get thousands of comments a day. It's too hard. But... I do sometimes do follow-ups. You'll hear a lot. I will answer some of those comments and call, uh, and call things out or like thank people in follow-up videos and stuff, but I do read them. So thank you guys so much. Uh, if you like what you saw today, please like and subscribe. If you were on the fence yesterday and you're like, oh, I don't know about this guy, like and subscribe. It's okay. Join us for the journey. You won't be disappointed. Uh, but thank you guys so much. If you're looking for, if you're a streamer, you're looking for some DMCA for your music, for your streams, now that Twitch is cracking down even more, uh, stream studios, is copyright free music that you guys can use in your streams. That'll be there as well. Otherwise, nobody told you they loved you today. I love you. You're loved. You're appreciated. You are cared for. Just remember that. It was a great day to play. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.